What's up guys, Aura here. And today, I'll be showing you how to ollie the professional way. Let's get to it. All right guys, so the first thing you should know about ollies is you should be really comfortable riding around on your board, like kick turns, pivots. You have to make sure you actually know how to maneuver on the board and board control and all that. So that might take uh, a bit. Once you feel ready for the ollie, then you're ready to do it. Hey, I wake up in the morning and I put on my jeans, yeah. They call me Billy Jean. Okay, so the ollie has two motions. There's the pop, and then dragging your foot up. And I'll explain to you how to do each step by step. When you're learning the ollie, it's vital to not just like try to do it like all at once. You want to divide it into parts and practice each part before you put it together. So I'd recommend first learning how to pop. Stand on the board, do this, just over and over again. And I know it can be boring, but it's crucial because you want to have the motion like in your memory, like memorized, so you can do it without thinking. And it will help if you practice it on a crack, like yeah. this sketchy construction equipment we're over right now. So the second motion in the ollie is to drag your foot up. So once you have the popping down and you can do it reliably, you want to learn how to drag your foot up. So get in this foot position, and then just drag your foot up through the nose. And this is important. Like, don't go here and then stop. You have to go through the nose. And that'll help just develop a strong drag, and it'll get you up in the air. What you'll notice is, like, your foot will turn like this in the drag. Like, you don't want to drag like this. That's not going to get you in the air. You need to do it like this. And it's very unnatural because like the human body wasn't meant to do this all the time. And that's why the ollie is hard to do. You just have to get in the habit. Don't worry about poking your shoe. I mean like poking a hole in your shoe. It's natural, it'll happen. Um, it's actually good. So just do this. So what I see a lot of beginners do when they're trying to learn ollie, they have their foot like this or like this. And maybe that's comfortable while, while riding, but you have to get in the habit of like putting the ball of your feet, like your toes, right in the center of the board right here. So you can just have the optimal pop. And then your front foot, it should be like behind the bolts, maybe even halfway, because you need a lot of room to drag up and have leverage to go in the air. I just be the coolest man while I'm in my rider, yeah, fighter. Once you can pop and slide your foot up reliably and it's just second nature to you, you ready to put it all together and ollie. Right before you ollie, you need to bend your knees and that helps you get power to pop and to get high. So, timing is key for this. You wanna pop first, but immediately afterwards, just slide your foot up and almost at the same time, when you slide up your foot, that's what's gonna get the board in the air, okay? Your ollie is gonna level out in the air because your foot jacks the board up. So, your weight, you, you'll want like most of your weight on your back foot so you can get actual power in the pop. Guys, this is important. Make sure to pop the tail with your ankle and not your leg, okay? That's what gives you the most power. You put this all together, you're in the air, and then you land back on. And that's when you can go brag to people. Yeah, hey, I just be wearing jeans. I don't wear nothing. A common beginner's mistake. You'll see people like alling in the grass because they're too scared to do it on the pavement. And let me tell you, falling is a natural process of skating. It's inevitable, it's gonna happen. So just do it in the pavement. You're gonna slam a couple times and that's just completely okay. And it's something you just have to cope with. So don't do it in the grass. It builds bad habits, it's harder to pop. It will also make your board slide back when you try to ollie on pavement. And it's optimal to do it while moving. Like a lot of people, they'll practice it standing still and that's fine, but just know that it's best to do it while moving. So at first, um, you might get like all your wheels off the ground and that's, that's a big accomplishment. I knew I was really psyched when that happened, but you shouldn't be discouraged if it looks really bad. It, all these don't happen in one day. They take a lot of time, practice, commitment, all that. So at first they're probably gonna look like rocket ollies, which is really common. It's a common beginner mistake and seesaw ollies. And I'll tell you all about them and how to just like fix those problems. So the most common problem I see, and I used to struggle with this too, is the rocket ollie. And it's caused by not dragging your foot up. Like your pop might be good, so where you just like, you go off the ground, 
but it doesn't level out like an ollie should when dragging your foot up. So a rocket ollie just goes like this. And how to fix that, you wanna like focus on just dragging your foot up to level out the board and get you that height you need. So just practice dragging your foot up extra just to get rid of the problem. These sollies, um, if you can see sollie, you're in the home stretch. Like you could really just call an ollie and it would count in a game of skate. But um, it's not how real ollies work and it's definitely not steezy. So a see sollie is when you just slam the nose on the ground and this is caused when uh, like your front foot, it drags and then you just stomp down. And that's not, it, it just ruins your height, it ruins your ollie. So to fix this, you really just wanna focus on like, when you drag your foot up, drag it up and then forward, not down. Like don't stop down, like just drag it forward to just like get you that height. Instead of doing this, you just, um, and that really helps. Um, I, I like to call them floater ollies because it just floats in the air instead of just going down. And I used to struggle from this too. <laughs> I, I had all the beginner mistakes. There is no easy way to learning how to ollie. Um, you'll see tutorials, they're like, how to ollie, the easiest way tutorial. Easiest way possible. There is no easy way, like, it's not gonna happen instantly. Uh, it takes a long time. It takes lots of practice, and it's not easy, it's hard. And I know, because I was, I've been there, you know, where I was like, yeah, this is impossible. And you just have to pull through, and you'll get there. Like, I promise you. Yeah, I'm from cold. Yeah, I don't wear Supreme, cause I go to Coles. Hey. Yeah, I shop at Coles. Hey, I only shop at Coles because Dilly Boy worked there. More like Young Bro, hey. Yeah, Young Bro.